if you take yourself back to Worcester, can you talk yeah, me yeah. through like your emotions at the time? So you've just signed for a new club. You're excited for a new challenge. How were you feeling when it all started to unfold? We'd had various signs throughout the summer that pointed towards financial instability. There was things happening like bailiffs turned up to get some of the what bikes because we hadn't paid the what bike bill. But like, oh, whatever, like all clubs have a bit of financial kind of trouble. Every now and again, it'll be all right. Throughout the summer, there was like I think there was a, when we came into preseason, there was a bit of issues with some medical supplies. Then a couple of us got paid late. Academy boys house got re- repossessed. Boys were sat having a nap on the couch and a day off. Some boy knocks on the door, dangles the keys in front of them, and he's like, Fella, just I'll let you know I've bought this house. I think the club are going to speak to you tomorrow. And like, we've got like 18, 19, 20 year olds sat in the house, like, wait, what? But uh, they get pulled in a meeting the next day by the manager, like the academy manager, like, Fellas, yeah, it's literally just happened. We had no control. From there, we were like, Right, things aren't looking great. For the first game against London Irish, we were shit because we hadn't prepared ourselves properly, uh, is what it is. And then we kind of got a bit better the next week against uh, Exeter. And then played Newcastle, which we basically knew was going to be our last game. We had a meeting a couple of days before. No, if it was the day before, it was the day of the team run. Before the team run, we had like loads of meetings with like PRL, um, the RPA, like lawyers, whatever. We had Zoom meetings all the time. We basically made a decision like, do we play or do we not? We were like, right, if it's over two thirds, I think if it's over two thirds, we'll play. And I think 75% said we'll play. So we rocked up the next day, played, uh, beat Newcastle. And then from there, we knew we, we weren't going to have the insurance on the ground for the home game the next week. So I think that was the issue. So we had that game cancelled and then we were suspended from the league. And then we didn't go back in. And we found out about the court case that the boys didn't turn up, the Colin Goldring and Jason Whittingham or whoever, I think it was them that had to go, didn't turn up to. And... Yeah. It was like a what a twenty four seconds of meeting or something like that or court case and that's when the club was put into administration and we found out on Twitter because that's where we we're getting all of our news from. We'd been away. Well, it was the fifth of October. I think we went into administration officially, and from there, that's when it was like, right, shit, we're no longer get, we've no longer got a job or like this isn't getting sorted out anytime soon. And it was just the constant looking at Twitter for news. And uh, that's when it started to really kind of put strain on us and families and things. When was the the exact moment for you that you you realised like shit, I'm going to be unemployed? Probably at half ten on the Wednesday, the fifth of October, when I was sat in my mum's conservatory. Because um, yeah. we we because when you were suspended from the leagues, I mean the missus were like, right, we'll come back up. We we're both from up here. We'll come back up to Scotland. That's when I saw on Twitter, and we were just like, concert. Our WhatsApp group was constantly going off. And it's like, fellas, that's it. Like, we're dust. Everyone kind of had their own battles. Like, I had a young family. I have, I have a young family. I know other boys with young families who, like, mortgage payments were bouncing. Uh, people, like, young guys who moved away for their family and had to move in with, like, and were living with other bo- uh, uh, like either other teammates they had to move in with them or they ended up, I know I think I'm pretty sure some ended up moving in with teammates' parents because if the young boys were living at home, there was heaps of stuff, mate. Do you like obviously you don't have to say too much, but do you hold much resentment towards the owners? Massive, massive resentment. Yeah, yeah. It was um the just the lack of communication and just it didn't seem to be kind of it was like they didn't care. They didn't even bother trying to like message us and give like their side of the story. Like it was like they didn't seem to think they'd done anything wrong at all. 